Hello and welcome to this TACView 2 minute tutorial on audio video playback. Let's get right into it. With TACView you can replay up to four audio video files synchronized with the 3D view. From the analysis menu, click on the media options to open up to four media windows. I'll open two to demonstrate. These windows can be docked or floating and they can be transparent or auto hidden. Right click on the title bar to play around with these options. Click on the folder icon to open your audio video file. Now for the purpose of this tutorial, I am using some sample videos which do not actually match what's happening in the other video or in the 3D view. Now you have to make sure that everything is synchronized. First, put your 3D view at an easily recognizable point in time. Then adjust each media time bar to the same point in time. Now I can control these videos with the playback bar of the 3D view and the videos will always stay in sync. If I press play, they all play. If I press pause, they all pause. I can also do fast forward or slow motion. Even if I drag the time bar past the beginning or the end of the media file, the videos will stay in sync. Here I'm way past the end of the media files, but if I come back, TACView has remembered the correct position. You can also control the volume and audio panning of the video using the So there you go, this is TACU's audio video playback feature. Occasionally people find that TACU is unable to play back a media file. So what file formats are supported by TACView? Actually TACView will replay any file supported by your system. If you find that a file is not supported, try replaying it in Windows Media Player. If Windows Media Player can't play it either, that means that your system does not support that file type and you may want to download a codec pack. I put a link in the video description where you can download a basic codec pack. Now if TACView is not replaying your file but Windows Media Player is, then please send us an email because there may be some issue there. I recommend you avoid using MP3 variable bitrate files. Windows does not seem to be able to sync these files to TACView properly. You could use MP3 constant bitrate instead. Finally, remember that most media files are just containers that hold different stream types, so make sure that you check that those streams are supported by your system. So that's all for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please leave your comments on this video and you can always reach me at support attackview.net. Thanks for listening.